Um, it, it was, I called it the HEMA when I was working on it because it's 51 arrangements. Um, and I, I, I just, I, I could not sit down and do 51 arrangements in succession. I just had to kind of work on it a little bit here, a little bit there, a little bit here. And eventually I got it to whole publishing you did probably about two months after their deadline, but eventually we got there. There are 51 arrangements. So as I told the folks uh, at the court reading session this morning, if you're on to, and they go through the entire season, so you've got uh, material that's suitable for Advent, for Christmas, for Lent, for Holy Week, for Easter, and various other seasons, then some general, some spiritual, some general hands and all that. Um, but as I said, you can do a different arrangement for 51 weeks, everyone for 51 weeks, and then take one week off and then start over again. <laughs> I'm going to do one uh, one arrangement out of here just to kind of wrap this up. This is Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee. This, do you remember Sister Act? Oh, yeah. The movie Sister Act? And do you remember the Joyful, Joyful they did? Yeah. And I just decided this isn't that rendition, but it's kind of in that spirit. So, again, if, they, if you can't do this in your church, well, just be selective about when and where you do it. But this is Joyful, Joyful, We Adore Thee, kind of in that same... Uh, vain as the Sister Act version of Joyful. Oh boy, oh boy. Do you have a question? Can I ask you my question? Well, sure. Are these compiled from any other books or are these all arranged for this particular they, book? There are a handful, I think, just I would say maybe six or eight that have come from a couple of other piano collections from Hope. It, that, that's the only place they would come. I've only done, I think, two other piano books for Hope, so there's not much in here that's from any of those books. So if you have uh, what are those books called? There's a Christmas book. Uh, I don't know if it's called Emmanuel, but there's a Christmas book that might, like, I think in, in the Christmas book, I do Breath of Heaven, so I think that is included. Is it on the list? Yeah, Breath of Heaven is in here. So there, there are a handful of Christmas numbers, three or four probably, that are here that were in another book if you've got that whole Christmas publication. And there's one other piano book I think I've done that has two or three. And the other Oh yes. No, no. Most most of what I do because I'm a practicing church musician. Now I don't do the concerts. That's not what I do. All the time. I'm in the local church, like you all are, week in week out. So most of what I write is intentionally designed, in my mind, to be used in a worship setting. Uh, now, we, we push the boundaries a little bit on a joyful, joyful, we adore thee in terms of style and that kind of thing. But, you know, we, we do a variety of styles even in our church, and I suspect many of you do too, so I don't really feel too boxed in by that. But in terms of sheer length, no, they, they are not going to be your concert pieces. You know, Joe Martin's got these books where he's got, uh, and, and Joe's a phenomenal pianist. Uh, you know, I can't even hold a cup. You know, he's just, he's just, he's just uh, an impressive Phenomenal piano, but he's got a few of these where he's got an entire major that takes a whole line, one major, you know, because he's got all these notes going all over the place, you know. So anyway, that's to answer your question. That, that's kind of okay. A little joyful, joyful, and uh, this will be a good one for us to to, to leave on, I guess.